everyone, I hate Veronica today. So today I am going to be doing a haul video. I'm really loving my hauls at the moment and you seem to be enjoying them too. So I'll try and keep them a bit more regular and a bit shorter. Um, yeah, please let me know if you prefer these more regular but shorter hauls as opposed to my kind of irregular long ones. So today I'm going to be doing a beauty haul which has got like drugstore, makeup, um, body care, nails and a couple of bits I got sent at the end mainly from, um, these are mainly from Boots so yeah it should be quite good and interesting hopefully so I'm going to get stuck in um, if you want to see my clothing haul that I did recently I'll link that in the bar below I decided to kind of split them up a bit more um, for people that are more interested in different things so if you like beauty and makeup then this is the one to watch so yeah I love Boots I go there probably a bit too much um, and this kind of is a recent boots trip um, that I went on and the first place I headed for was the Soap and Glory aisle because I just love Soap and Glory especially their miniatures because I find them really good for travelling and I spend a lot of my time travelling between uni and home so they were on 3 for 2 they seem to always be on 3 for 2 so um, yeah that's really good and makes them really affordable and I've run out of a few things so the first thing I picked up was the Soap and Glory hand food which is a really really amazing hand cream and um, you know if you try Soap and Glory like how incredible all the products smell it's just a certain Soap and Glory smell that's really hard to describe um, it says it's made with shea butter, macadamia oil and marshmallow so you can imagine that smells really sweet and gorgeous um, and it leaves your hands feeling so nourished so yeah this is a miniature as I said before I prefer to get mini ones because then they're kind of more travel friendly and only about £2.50 each I think and then I also got the handmade hand cleansing gel because I always find kind of using a hand sanitizer better than washing my hands. I don't really feel like in kind of public toilets and stuff that you can always clean your hands properly. So I prefer to use one of these, but normally they smell really kind of hospitally and not very nice. But this one again has the soap and glory smell, so it smells incredible. And it's pink, um, so that's nice and it's a really good kind of handbag filler. And then last but not least, in the 3 for 2, I got the Safe and Glory Righteous Butter. Um, I used to get the really big pots of these, but they're £10, which is kind of like quite pricey and um, really big for kind of travelling and stuff. So I prefer to get this little tub. I've used quite a bit of it already because I use it like every day when I get out of the shower. Um, I just think, yeah, it just smells incredible and leaves your skin feeling so soft and smooth and it's just the best body moisturiser I've ever tried. So yeah, I definitely recommend all of those products if you're kind of new to Soap and Glory or want to try some different bits from Soap and Glory. So moving on then to makeup, I got a couple of bits and the first one is incredibly exciting because it's a Rimmel Apocalypse. Um, if you haven't heard of these before, these are lip liqueurs, so they are kind of like a hybrid product. They are like um, a really, really pigmented gloss. You can see there, like, I don't know, actually, I'll put it on my hand. You can see how pigmented that is, hopefully, from that swatch. Um, and so, yeah, it's a gloss that's really pigmented, kind of like a cream. Um, but it lasts for ages, like a stain. So it's kind of a big mixture of all the best things about all of those different lip products. And this is the shade Stella, which is just an incredible kind of neon coral shade it was unlike anything i'd come across so i really really wanted to try it um i will have done a post on this by the time this video goes up which i'll link in the bar below if you want to see it on my lips and swatches and a bit more about kind of the whole rimmel apocalypse thing they're only six pound though which i think is so reasonable for such a good product that lasts so long and is so pigmented um yeah and they've been causing quite a storm in the beauty world so i'm sure you've heard about these before so yeah, give these a go if you haven't already because they're a really, really great new release from Rimmel. And then another thing I got was a really buy, which is the Dream Lumi Touch Concealer from Maybelline. I think this is shade 3. Um, it's not like really dark though, I don't really understand. Shade, shade 2 was darker than shade 3, so I don't really know why that is. But anyway, it's just the best under eye concealer I've ever come across. If you've watched any of my makeup tutorials, then you will have seen me use this. Um, but in a, with different packaging because they've updated the packaging now and it just illuminates your under eyes gets rid of any bags and circles and really wakes you up in tired days and it's about £8 but um, it makes me a little bit pricey for a drugstore but it lasted me like almost a year I think I remember using it in like 
videos about spring last year and I've only ever bought one so that was the same one that I've been using like for the whole year so definitely worth a buy and then this is kind of standard it's Batiste Florin Flirty Blush Dry Shampoo I go through so much of this because I use it to refresh my hair and keep it looking blonde um, and I do find it doesn't last very long but it is really good and it does smell really nice so I think it's worth the buy um, it tends to pop up in almost all my hauls and like favourites videos at the moment a really boring thing that I'm just going to get out of the way is some um, Bic Solel Lady uh, Shaving Foam Gel it's just quite nice and it's pink again I think I'm just taken in by like any pink packaging which is quite bad um, but I oh will I'm sure quite a lot of girls are and another thing I got is these Boots Sparkling Eye Drops, which I'd never tried before, but basically I was really, really busy last week. I was in a show and my eyes were getting really tired and red and bloodshot and I was getting really fed up with how they looked and they were seemed really small. And I know a couple of bloggers use eye drops and I've kind of been a bit scared and wary about putting stuff in my eyes. I don't know, that's kind of not natural. But these are only about £3, I think, and I find them really hard to apply because you have to, like kind of open your eye and like squirt it in and I've kind of like put it over my face and stuff before because you just flinch and blink and stuff but if you get someone to help you do it they're quite easy and I think you just get used to putting them in um, but yeah I was kind of like Rachel from Friends when I first did it when she has eye drops fit in and they do definitely make your eyes sparkle and go whiter like in an instant it feels like a nap in a bottle and um, I definitely recommend these um, for like busy times and stuff but you shouldn't overuse them so kind of save them for those occasions when you really need them and last but not least from Boots I got the Simple Kind Skin Sunkiss Moisture Cream and um, this is a really good like uh, gradual tanner I'm kind of, I sound really surprised just because I didn't really, I haven't really heard anything about this um, and people haven't raved about it but it's the only one that I found that doesn't smell at all like it has absolutely no fake tan smell which is just amazing and the downside is that I think it's about £5 for this tiny bottle and it won't last very long it's only meant for your face but because it doesn't smell I do quite like using it all over my body um, for times when I'm not going to be able to shower between going out so yeah, it's really good for a really, really light natural tan. So maybe quite a good starter tan for anyone looking to get into tanning for the summer. Um, yeah, amazing. Thanks, Simple. And also kind to your face as well. I don't like using San Tropez on my face particularly because I find it a bit like harsher and stuff. And it can clog up your pores. Moving on to some nail bits that I've got from like the internet and friends and stuff. Um, first of all, I bought the Sete Vite Dry Fast Top Coat. Um, from eBay I think was it eBay no no sorry Amazon for about five pound I think which is amazing because um, it's an incredible incredible top coat and it dries really quickly and it leaves your manicure lasting a lot longer than if you don't use a top coat or use just like a normal drugstore one and Viviana does makeup loves this so anything that's good enough for her is good enough for me um, so yeah definitely recommend that if you have kind of trouble with chip manicures and stuff and then along the same lines of making your manicure look good, I got this a while back but I haven't talked about it before so I thought I'd pop it in. It's the China Glaze Ridge Filler Base Coat, which again is something that I got from Amazon for about £5 um, because you can't get China Glaze in any shops in this country I don't think. I think it might be American, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's great because I do, I'm kind of like a serial nail biter. I've bitten my ears, for, bitten my ears? bitten my nails for years um, and with that they've become quite like ridged and brittle and stuff and I'm kind of like recovering them now because I don't really bite my nails anymore but this is a really really good base coat for me because it leaves a really nice smooth surface for my nail polish to go on top of and makes my nails look a lot better so yeah that's a great product too and finally on the nails front I got this was given to me by a friend um, and I got the Nails Ink well, I don't know why I keep looking as if it says something else. It doesn't even say anything on there. The Nail Zinc Nail Polish in Knightsbridge. Um, and this is just a perfect colour for spring. I know we're not quite in spring yet. Um, it's actually quite cold. It's a shame because I thought with Valentine's Day and everything it'd be like warming up. But apparently not because it's really chilly. Um, but I'm preparing for the summer with this anyway. And I've just thrown it across the floor. So 
so yeah uh, and also I just find that it lasts for ages without chipping because it's obviously quite expensive I think they're about 11 or 12 pound nail zinc um, but yeah just a gorgeous like neon coral shade it's actually basically the same shade you can see there as my apocalypse so I love to wear them together they're a great combo and um, then I'm going to finish this haul by showing you a couple of things that I've got sent recently. I'm really lucky um, to get sent a couple of things from different companies to try out. Um, so recently I've got contacted by Macadamia Oil, who you might have heard of. Like I've used their heating oil before. I think it's a heating oil, the one you put in your ends anyway. Um, and that was really nice. So now I've got the Macadamia Deep Repair Master Try, which is great because I dye my hair, use heat tools on it and blah blah blah. So it really needs a good mask and it seems to be coming out a little bit. That's probably just because I just got it from the shower. Um, yeah, I used it once so far, and it's for revitalising hair, reconstructing dry, damaged hair, all of that really, really good stuff. Um, and I found that it put a lot of moisture back into my hair, so I'll probably do a proper review on this soon and pop that on my blog, and if I do, I'll put a link in the bar below. And also, I got sent this macadamia oil hot curling brush which I'm really excited to try. Obviously I haven't tried it yet because I need to take some photos of it for my blog, which is why it's in its packaging. But um, at the hairdressers, they always curl your, curl your hair. They always straighten your hair from um, kind of like wet. And my hair's so frizzy naturally that I find it incredible that they don't have to use straighteners. So I'm going to try and learn how to straighten my hair from wet just by blow drying with this. Because um, you're meant to be able to create curls and straighten and everything with this brush. Um, and I think it is quite expensive, I think it's over the £20 mark, but if it works, then I think it's worth it, so I'll give it a go and let you know how that goes. And then I also got sent some different shampoos and conditioners from a brand called Yuko, which I haven't really heard of before, but they cater for um, like different, I think mainly frizzy hair, which I really have, like curly and frizzy hair. So these are anti-frizz conditioners and shampoos, which is really good because that's what my hair needs. So again, I will give these a go and probably review them. So yeah, I've got a lot of hair care to try out, which is good because I'm always on the hunt for things to make my hair just a bit more manageable. And last but not least, I've got some lashes from Miss Flick Lash, which again is a brand that I'm not really familiar with. Um, and I'll pop a link below as to where you can buy these because it's a website um, that isn't Miss Flick Lash website. It's like an eye brand, Eyes Bright, Eyes Bright, I'm pretty sure it is anyway, but I'll put the link below so where you can buy these. And I don't know if you can see, but you get like an eyeliner flick with them as well, which is quite cool because I'm always having to put eyeliner over the top of false lashes so you can make the transition between your eye and the false lashes look kind of like seamless and natural. So I'm going to wear these tonight because I'm off out, um, off out for a bit of a dance and a boogie tonight. So I shall put those on because I do like wearing false lashes when I go out. I just think it's just kind of fun. Um, even though I'm not brilliant at applying them, but maybe these will be quite simple to apply. And again, I'll probably review those soon. So that is my beauty haul. I hope you've enjoyed it and you prefer kind of the shorter videos. Um, yeah, let me know what you've been buying lately or like link any hauls that you've done lately. And please subscribe and rate and comment if you liked it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.